Hi, I'm Lauren. Today I'm going to talk about something I get asked about frequently, that is creatine supplementation. So not too many people know that I started my career at a little little supplement uh, company called Muscle Tech. And when I got the job, I actually had to write out the creatine pathway in order to be hired. Now, the only reason I knew about that pathway is because I studied biochemistry and actually in my last year, I did my thesis on creatine supplementation. So today I'm going to talk about why creatine is a good thing to supplement with, what are the benefits of using creatine, and what is creatine. Okay, so what is creatine? Well, you've probably seen it in a form just like this, available on many store shelves. <clears throat> creatine is a supplement, yes. It's also um, something naturally found in our bodies. We have a reserve of creatine and it's something found in a lot of foods we eat, including fish, chicken, and beef. At its core, its chemical core, creatine is basically the combination of three aminos, so it's an amino compound. So how does creatine work? Well, creatine is bound to a phosphate group Creatine sits in reserves in our body, and when it's needed, it's going to pull out of those reserves and provide phosphate to adenosine diphosphate, or ADP, and produce ATP, or adenosine triphosphate. What is ATP? Energy. So what are the benefits of using creatine? Well, very simply, the more phosphate you have, the more ATP you're going to be able to generate, that means you're going to have more energy for your workouts. But it's not just going to be more energy for your workouts. Creatine has been shown in research to help with strength, improve muscle, um, improve speed, improve power. So it's not just one benefit you're going to get from using creatine. You're going to get many benefits when it comes to your workouts. In fact, it's also been shown in studies that taking creatine for as short as eight weeks, a five gram dose, can increase your lean muscle mass up to anywhere between five to 10 pounds in your first cycle. So, and that's not just for men, that can be for women as well. So why wouldn't you use creatine? So how do you take your creatine? Well, it's pretty simple. You find a product like this one, I prefer to use a creatine monohydrate. That is because it is the most researched creatine on the market today. There are other forms, but in terms of absorbability and getting into your system of bioavailability, creatine monohydrate is still the best. You take about five grams, put it in a glass, add water, drink. That's it, it's very simple. It doesn't matter if you take it before your workout, after your workout, in the morning, in the evening. It's more about the amount of reserve you have. So the more consistent you are with your supplementation, the faster your reserves are gonna get up and the more you'll have available. You should take it for about eight weeks in order to get that reserve to its maximum. Do you need to load with creatine? Actually, no, you don't. There used to be an old school method that you would take creatine about five times per day, five grams at each time, and over the course of the first week, you would basically get your saturation of creatine up faster. But they've shown now that it actually doesn't really matter. You can take it every day for eight weeks and get the same saturation, and you need to take it for eight weeks anyways. So why waste extra product if you don't need to? Just supplement once per day. Okay, if you're a woman, should you supplement with creatine? Absolutely, why not? Why wouldn't you? Unless you don't want those benefits, which I'm pretty sure if you're working out enough, you do. So the one good thing about creatine supplementation for women is that we can actually take a little bit less. For some reason, we have a higher natural reserve of creatine in our bodies than men do. So you can take about three grams per day and get the same benefit. So what are the side effects of using creatine? Well, one of the main side effects is that you can experience some bloating or water retention. So this water retention is caused because when creatine goes into the cell, it's drawing water into the cell. So that mechanism of drawing water inward is actually a benefit because it stimulates protein synthesis, which basically 
means that we're going to gain muscle, gain lean mass. So when you stop using creatine, the water bloating, retention, etc., will go away, but the benefit that you experience, the gains in muscle, will not. Okay, so can creatine be combined with other products? Absolutely. There's no reason why you can't stack creatine with any other product on the market. Um, in addition, you're probably going to find creatine in a pre-workout product combined with beta-alanine or branched-chain aminos or even caffeine. There's no reason why you can't stack these all together. In fact, they probably work just as well or if not better when they're combined. Okay, so that is all I have to say about creatine. If I miss something or you have another question specifically about creatine, please drop it in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer you. Thanks!